Today's Mass Readings and Gospel Reflection March 12, 2021 Friday The Friday of the Third Week of Lent We bless your name, O Lord, for sending your own incarnate Son to become part of a family, so that, as he lived its life, he would experience its worries and its joys. We ask you, Lord, to protect and watch over this family, so that in the strength of your grace its members may enjoy prosperity, possess the priceless gift of your peace, and, as the church alive in the home, bear witness in this world to your glory. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. First reading. A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Hosea chapter 14 verse 2 to 10. Thus says the Lord, Return, O Israel, to the Lord, your God. You have collapsed through your guilt. Take with you words, and return to the Lord. Say to him, Forgive all iniquity, and receive what is good, that we may render as offerings the bullocks from our stalls. Assyria will not save us, nor shall we have horses to mount. We shall say no more, our God, to the work of our hands. For in you the orphan finds compassion. I will heal their defection, says the Lord. I will love them freely, for my wrath is turned away from them. I will be like the dew for Israel. He shall blossom like the lily. He shall strike root like the Lebanon cedar, and put forth his shoots. His splendor shall be like the olive tree and his fragrance like the Lebanon cedar. Again they shall dwell in his shade and raise grain. They shall blossom like the vine, and his fame shall be like the wine of Lebanon. Ephraim, what more has he to do with idols? I have humbled him, but I will prosper him. I am like a verdant cypress tree. Because of me you bear fruit. Let him who is wise understand these things. Let him who is prudent know them. Straight are the paths of the Lord. In them the just walk, but sinners stumble in them. The Word of the Lord Responsorial Psalm Psalms chapter 81 verse 6 c to 8 a, 8 bc to 9, 10 to 11 a b, 14 and 17. Let our response be, I am the Lord your God, hear my voice. An unfamiliar speech I hear. I relieved the shoulder of the burden. His hands were freed from the basket. In distress you called, and I rescued you. Response. I am the Lord your God, hear my voice. Unseen, I answered you in thunder. I tested you at the waters of Meribah. Hear, my people and I will admonish you. O Israel, will you not hear me? Response. I am the Lord your God. Hear my voice. There shall be no strange God among you nor shall you worship any alien God. I, the Lord, am your God who led you forth from the land of Egypt. Response. I am the Lord your God. Hear my voice. If only my people would hear me, and Israel walk in my ways. I would feed them with the best of wheat, and with honey from the rock I would fill them. Response. I am the Lord your God. Hear my voice. Verse before the Gospel. Matthew chapter 4 verse 17. Repent, says the Lord. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Gospel reading. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Mark chapter 12 verse 28 to 34. One of the scribes came to Jesus and asked him, Which is the first of all the commandments? Jesus replied, The first is this, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is Lord alone. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. The scribe said to him, well said, teacher, 
You are right in saying. He is one and there is no other than He. And to love Him with all your heart, with all your understanding, with all your strength. And to love your neighbor as yourself is worth more than all burnt offerings and sacrifices. And when Jesus saw that He answered with understanding, He said to him, You are not far from the kingdom of God. And no one dared to ask Him any more questions. The Gospel of the Lord before we proceed with the video, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. Also, please hit the notification bell, so you won't miss out when we release new videos. Feel free to share your comments, suggestions, and reflections at the comments section down below. Thank you and God bless. Now, let's proceed with the video. The Reflection on Today's Gospel Jesus said to the scribe, You are not far from the kingdom of heaven. Indeed, he is very close to the kingdom of heaven. In fact, it is standing right in front of him. Jesus is the kingdom of heaven. Where God is, there is heaven. Where God is not, there is hell. Is it possible to love God and hurt Him at the same time? Yes. Absolutely. I experience it all the time and I see it all around me. A few days ago, a couple asked me to bless their home. It turned out that the husband and wife were not husband and wife. They were actually boyfriend and girlfriend. Now, I know they love God. I saw plenty of crucifixes in their home and images of Our Lady of Guadalupe. But their love for God and for each other is killing Him. Our sins crucified the Lord. Remember? The scribe could not have agreed more with Jesus' response. He even said to him, Well said, teacher. You are right in saying, He is one and there is no other than He. And to love Him with all your heart, with all your understanding, with all your strength. And to love your neighbor as yourself is worth more than all burnt offerings and sacrifices. It's so nice to see that they both agreed. But did you notice how the scribe called Jesus? Teacher? The scribe knew the law. He knew it like the back of his hand. But he did not apply it well. For standing in front of him was God, pure love. Yes, standing in front of him was the one and only one God. Standing in front of him was the best neighbor in the world. The Messiah, the Savior of the world. Again, for this reason, Jesus said to him, You are not far from the kingdom of God. Love God above all things. How can you love someone you do not know? Answer. You don't. Instead, what ends up happening is that you love someone you think you know. And chances are that someone ends up being you. Whoever loves me will keep my word and my Father will love him and we will come to him. Let's never forget the mind-boggling journey the Lord made from heaven to earth to stand in front of this man. Now, all he needed to do was to reach out and follow him. Would he? Did he? I fear he never did since St. Mark never mentions his name. How is it possible that someone, so familiar with the law, could not recognize the Lord? Is this a rare incident? Hardly. Unfortunately, the scribe reminds me of a homeschooler. How is it possible that a child who knows his faith inside out doesn't know God? It takes more than just knowing the Lord to love Him. We start with the book. But we can't end there. If we do, we will never get near Him. Love God above all things, especially your fears. I have never met an evil person in my life. Never. Not yet, at least. On the other hand, I have met plenty of people, almost all of them Christians, who know the Lord, say they love Him, but live in sin. Why this internal confusion? Is it a lack of knowledge or a lack of understanding? No. The problem is fear. We sin because we are afraid. We are afraid of never being loved. And so we settle for less. We are afraid of people seeing our mistakes and so we lie. We are afraid of getting hurt and so we strike first. We are afraid of confronting the brutal truth and so we drink. 
Fear is that one thing we place above God all the time. Yes, to love God means I must know Him. But in order to know Him, I must throw myself at Him. I must set aside my fears and place my life in Him. How? By following His commandments. It takes a leap of faith to follow the Lord's commandments, especially the two great commandments. But only then will I experience Him as He truly is, my Lord and my God, and as an image and likeness of me and my neighbor. Then, and only then, will I not be far from Him.